Hello and welcome back to Drop the Box. Today we're going to be doing rear discs and pads on this BMW 2 Series. First thing you need to do is locate the brake fluid reservoir and that's going to be under this little plastic panel here. You need a 10 mil socket just to do a quarter turn on these fasteners and then the panel will slide over place like that. and that's our brake fluid reservoir. So we get our syringe and extract the old brake fluid because we'll be putting some new new in later. So that we got the wheel off, we can see that there's uh, a broken wear pad sensor be here. So to replace the wear pad sensor, we need to come over to the wheel arch and we need to take this nut off up here, which is a 10 mil, and then you got two 8 mil screws down here. Let's take them out. And then we can pull back the wheel arch. Just does that a little bit. We can pull back the wheel arch. And then we've got this little box here. We can open the box. And that is where the wear pad sensor connects up. So the first thing we need to do is take this clip off. So you do that by pushing against it and then pulling it towards you. I've put a little flathead screwdriver in there just to help prise it out. And then put that to one side. With the screwdriver, slowly pull back the caliber slightly so it's easier to take off. Two dust covers off the back of the caliper. This is how the caliper is secured to the carrier. So the dust covers look like. There's two of them. And then you'll need to take your 8mm Allen key and wind back. Wind back the sliders. And that's what the slider bolt looks like. As you can see, I need a bit of a clean, so we'll clean that up later. Now with the two sliders removed, you can remove the caliper and put it up the out of the way. Thank you. 
remove the old brake pads. As you can see, it's pretty worn. Next thing we need to take off is the caliper carrier. And this is held in by two, um, two bolts, and you will need a 16mm socket to take these out. And then remove the carrier. We'll clean this up before we fit the net. And the last thing to take off is the disc. So first you need to take the little locating nut out. And for this you need a 6mm Allen. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, on the caliper, there's only the brake line going to it. So because these are rear brakes, you normally need... So because these are rear brakes, normally, you will have a brake line going to it, and you will have um, your, hand, your park brake line going to it. But on this case, the park brake, or the handbrake, is um, inside the disc and they use a brake shoes to apply the handbrake so it's nothing to do with the caliper it's got another separate system so before we knock this disc off we need to well actually let me take you around to the other side because that's already stripped down So this is the um, brake shoe setup for the handbrake. So what we need to do is we need to locate one of the holes for the wheel nut and line it up with that little cog there. And then what you do is you take a flathead screwdriver, put it through the hole, and then just wind back the little adjuster and then this will retract the handbrake shoes so then when you hit the disc off we don't damage the shoes because we don't need to change these shoes because there's plenty of meat left on them because they're not really used for braking they're just used you know for the park brake so unless you're doing sort of handbrake turns these don't really wear and they're in good condition Now with everything stripped down, it's a good opportunity to give everything a good clean, check that your handbrake adjustment is nice and free and moving. If it's not, you'll have to strip it down and clean it all up. But in this case, everything is nice and free. It's all been cleaned and there's plenty of meat left on the brake shoes. Um, a little bit of housekeeping now before we start assembling everything. I'm gonna clean this contact surface here just with a wire brush, just again, nice and clean. So then everything fits um, smooth, everything fits smoothly and it'll all line up correctly. Before you start with the reassembly, make sure you clean all the components that are going back on. Paying particular attention to where the brake pads are gonna sit in the caliper carrier. So in these areas here. Also, you're gonna want to Get a bit of Brillo pad and wipe these um, caliper sliding bolts down. And just give the new disc a bit of a spray with brake cleaner to get any uh, residue from the factory off. And then we're ready to reassemble. So the first part of the reassembly, fit the disc back on. And put in the locating nut. Now what I like to do before we put any of the other components on is adjust the handbrake cable back up before we fit anything else so then we know that there's no other issues with it. 
um, when we put the other parts on. So just, just in the reverse, locate the hole, line it up with the adjuster and just adjust it all the way up until you can't move the brake disc. Once that's adjusted, so we can't move the brake disc, then you just want to take it off a couple of notches. Until we can move it again. I do that on the other side as well. So we know that there's equal adjustment on both sides for the handbrake. Now we need to grab our caliper carrier. That's nice and clean. It's worth putting a little bit of Loctite on the bolts as well. You don't want these bolts coming out. Now we need to fit our new brake pads. And I like to put a little bit of anti-seize ceramic grease on um, the contact surfaces of the pad where it's going to slide back and forth in the carrier. So this is the back pad with the clip. So we clip that into the caliper first. Get our front brake pad. Just slip that into position. And place over like that. Now we need to secure the caliper back to the carrier. And again, with these slide in bolts, just put a little bit of anti seize grease on them. Once those bolts are tight, don't forget to put your dust covers back on. And then you need to get your caliper clip and put that back on as well. Now we need to grab our new wear pad sensor. And just slip that into the brake pad. And then you're going to want to run it in and around, following all the clips. And then connect it back up by the little black box. Connect it up, put it back in the black box, and then just make sure everything's clipped in and secure and running nice and neat. And once both sides are back assembled, you're going to want to pump the foot pedal. And then we're going to want to bleed the brakes. And for the bleed nipple on the caliper, you're going to need an 11 mil spanner. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to bleed the brakes because there's already a video for that on the channel. So what I will do is leave a link in the description for that video on how to bleed your brakes because it's pretty much the same for every car. And the last few things to do is check and top up your brake fluid reservoir and pump that brake pedal one more time. And well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if there's anything you want to see in the future, please leave a comment and we'll see what we can do.
Thanks again. 